Um, LTEX of Sweden AB is a company from Sweden. We are specialized in yawn brake sensors and the yawn tension monitoring system for the flooring industry, especially for the tufting carpets and for the yarns producing companies, those who are producing BCF yarns for carpets. That's our specialty. And, um, away from this, we are also in textiles. We are 60 years old company. Um, we are present in more than 120 countries today. Uh, our yarn brake sensors for the textile machine all over the world, we have a great presence. And uh, still we have uh, many machines, our yarns are still working for the last 40 years. It means the quality of our sensors, they are really good. And ones who use our sensor, they never change it. Well, as per the information from different sources, which uh, we have been receiving, and the figures, the data shows that the uh, the future of the carpet business is in the Middle East countries and in the Southeast Asian countries. The more and lately the more investment is coming in this region. And uh, this is not only our opinion but also we have been talking this morning with one of the big uh, companies in the, in the flooring industry. Uh, they were also sharing and they agree also that more and more companies are coming in this region uh, because they see very good future in this uh, GCC countries especially, then also in the Far East region as well. Uh, main reason is coming because the market is growing. The flooring market already exists and it's growing more and more. So this is, we think, is the reason that uh, many companies have decided to come in this time in this exhibition. And this is the reason for Domotex Middle East to come back again after 15 years. Very good question you have asked. This is the core subject, I will say. Yes, um, our sensors, um, when they are mounted on the machines, first of all, we eliminate in a big way the yarn break problem. Most of the uh, tufting machines have the yarn break problems. And uh, with our sensors, this problem reduces drastically. Um, I cannot tell you in the figures, but yes, uh, the companies, those who are using our systems, once they use on one machine, then later on they install on the rest of the machines. Why? Number one reason, it is very it's easy and comfortable for the operator to work. When the yarn breaks, the machine stops instantly, almost instantly. That avoids the, 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 the fault. Uh, it fault can be from few centimeters up to two meters and more. So this all is a big wastage. Therefore, with our sensors, we can assure that at the end, the customers are winning. It's a win-to-win -win situation. They do not lose money. There is no wastage, less electricity and more benefits amongst many other reasons also yes yes uh, we are we are very much concerned about this our um, you know there is uh, if we talk of artificial grass in particular and also for the tufting carpet uh, side uh, in both the businesses uh, there is a lot of wastages there due to the yarn breakage a lot uh, sometime it can be so much that it can go to several hundred hundreds of, sometimes thousands of dollars, depending on the number of machines. So all that wastage can be saved by using our sensors. I mean, imagine the wastage we are talking about. If the, uh, if supposing any company has, uh, just to give you a small example, we have one case study um, in the carpet business. They have about eight tufting machines and they were losing approximately quite a big amount, uh, plus $100,000 uh, uh, per year per machine. After the installation of our sensors, that has come down drastically. Up to, they are losing still, but they are losing perhaps only between $200 to $500 dollars 
in a year only. So this is one case study which we have it. So is the example here you can see that how much it can benefit uh, to the customers from the wastage point of view, from from all other end specs of the of the tub. Well, uh, we have to divide this because uh, it's not the same like 15 years ago, the market uh, and uh, in between and now. So our biggest market share obviously is in the United States of America. So that's our big market. The second is the Central European countries. Uh, which includes uh, France, Belgium in particular. Now lately we are quite active in UK. We have a very good success lately. And then we are also quite busy in Australia as well. And uh, we made an, a breakthrough about three years ago in Japan where we are doing uh, good business at the moment. So we are present almost everywhere in most of the country where there is a textile and where there is a tufting machine we have our senses working there.